Hi everybody, this is Alice Bejeweled Hedgehog. Um, back for a very quick vlog. It's really late, and I am, luckily, I thought I was heading towards insomnia, but luckily I have suddenly gotten very, very sleepy. Um, I had, I went ahead and, and did a cast off video, my Tuesday on Tuesday. It was kind of a sad little video because I had all these big plans for all this stuff I was going to get done. And if you see the cast off, it's kind of like, well, I've got this almost finished and that almost finished and that on hold. But by um, Tuesday of next week, I should have two ponchos, one Susie Cusy poncho and one Sorry, Susie Cusy. You know, I think you do have a name for your poncho, but I just call them Susie Cusy ponchos. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, buh. okay, just, I, I am very tired, so of course here, uh, my brain has stopped. Oh, anyway, by next week, I have got to have all the gifts for Beanie. Um, who is turning 15 on the 8th. So Susie Cusy Poncho, Lacey Poncho from Ravelry, um, a bot journal, but you know, um, Ayana had done a challenge, which of course I'm <laughs> not ready for, but I got really excited about doing another craft. And I used to love to do collages. And I thought that I would get a box and cover it with collages and decorate it with things and then seal all that and give one of uh, Beanie's gifts in that box, you know, rather than wrapping it. I'm just talking about a cardboard box. I'm not talking about anything fancy. But then she would have a little box to keep things in. And, um, you know, well, not little, but, anyway, you know, like large shoe box size or something. So, I would like to get that all done by Tuesday, next Tuesday also. <laughs> but, you know, I got my um, strip of the week for the Afghan crochet along done. So, I am free to do nothing in my spare time except work on gifts. Then once I say happy birthday and give her her gifts, then I have to do all these little headbands with the cat ears on them. Um, now, luckily, although Ducky's birthday is on the 14th, um, her party is actually at the end of the month because of all the scheduling and uh, so I have a lot of time to work on those cat ears. Um, and surprisingly, well, she got a huge blanket from me that was supposed to be birthday but came as a Passover gift, as a reward for cleaning her room. But, I mean, you know, hopefully she'll bear in mind that it is kind of a kind of a birthday gift because she's getting two journals. Uh, one is a Wreck This journal and one is a journal made from Andrea. And I will also give her one of the journals in a collage box. But other than that, since she kind of backed out on wanting a poncho, I am not going to... Um, stress myself by trying to make her anything because she's one of the the big niece the oldest niece does not ask for things on a regular basis um, she's kind of going through this really cute phase where uh, she's really inter it's really interested in spiritual things and very very conscious um, I'm really pleased and impressed with this very very conscious of issues involving the recession and issues all over the world, um, poverty, and she, unlike, you know, the average teenage girl who wants, you know, new pairs of jeans and makeup every week and blah, 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 Beanie had, takes the approach of, I only want what I need. And I would rather, um, rather than have six different sweaters, one for every possible color and mood, you know, I'll take one or two sweaters, give the rest of the money to charity. So, wow, I am so impressed with her. And um, so she does not ask me for things like the other two constantly do. And uh, I rarely get a chance to make her anything. Um, so I'm so happy to do these ponchos and things for her. If I'm going off all over the place, it's because I really, really suddenly did get sleepy. But since I had the little, you know, webcam perched up there, I just figured I'd just keep right on going. 
So I wanted to share something both sad and funny with you um, involving great deals and stupid purchases. <laughs> okay, this is a receipt from Target. Yeah. Okay, webcam isn't going to cooperate really, but basically this is uh, shows a ruffle tea. I had to go to Target to pick up a prescription this evening. So I um, picked up Ducky at an after-school activity around 5, and then um, we both went to Target, and while we were waiting, of course, we wandered around. But anyway, I found this really cool t-shirt. Yeah, that's how it goes, like front to back. And anyway, it was on clearance for... Um, and I checked it. I was so afraid that since it had gone down so, so low, there must be something wrong with it. It's Morona. It's one of their, uh, basically standard brands. Um, I mean, it's not going to last for years and years, but I'm guessing, um, you know, going in on the gentle cycle, it'll last for at least two years. Anyway, it was $14.99. It says now for four, ugh, now 448 so I basically got this shirt, of course, you know, it's a warmer, kind of much more reddish purple. Um, Andy was talking about, I don't know what it is about these cameras, they just don't seem to like purple. But anyway, so I got a shirt that I love for $4.50. Okay, then looking at this receipt, um, next thing I bought was just, you know, nothing particularly special, some silk organic soy milk, a carton of that for $2.99. And then I wanted to do a tea smash book. And um, I also want to do, uh, the nieces and I, when they were little, um, I bought them tons of My Little Ponies. And we have them, you know, I still have a shelf in my dining room that has um, the old toys on it. And we love them to pieces. And out of all the toys that they have had here, They've decided, and, you know, I kind of decided too, that we would go ahead and just, you know, clean them all up, sort them all out, put them in a plastic tub, and save them for their kids. But in the meantime, what we wanted to do was make a My Little Pony smash book. And, you know, we wanted to um, photograph all of them and, you know, write their names down and... Um, we used to like to pose them, you know, in these little scenarios, so maybe we'll put them in some of these little scenarios and make photos of them and write things about them, and I found a whole sheet of My Little Pony stickers. So not for the immediate future, um, but, you know, we're going to try over the summer to put together My Little Pony smash book, and this is my tea smash book. Well, one of them is the tea smash book, you can't really tell, and I'm excited. Um, like I said, I like to do collages. I never, I mean, other than like, you know, arts, art classes in college, but I was never considered all that good at art. I couldn't draw that well. Um, so I feel funny when I do formal art, you know, a piece of canvas, a piece of watercolor paper. I feel like, ooh, I've got to draw something. But when you put me in a more casual setting where I feel like, okay, it's just a smash book. Okay, it's just a bookmark. And when I'm doodling something, then I have fun. So I'm going to put drawings in there and do all kinds of cool stuff and, you know, totally um, customize the cover. So anyway, those were a dollar for each for a total of two oh eight. So I got a beautiful summer shirt, two smash books, a thingy of uh, soy milk for a total of nine ninety five. And I'm thinking, wow, a nickel change on a $10 bill, not bad. So anyway, um, Ducky and I decided that we would go, there's a little Starbucks inside Targets. I don't know if it's in all of them everywhere, but it seems to be inside the ones in my area, like a little mini Starbucks. So we both got smalls. Um, I got a small, um, what do they call them, creams? You know, it's a drink that has no coffee in it, but you can get them soy-based. So I got a soy-based strawberries and cream Thing. They're not really smoothies. They're just they're just called creams, and th what they taste like is milkshakes. But anyway, it was soy, and um, Ducky, <laughs> Ducky has already got a coffee habit, even though it's only decaf. It's just so funny to watch this little ten-year-old girl walk up and say, "I'd like a decaf caramel frappuccino with extra caramel, please." <laughs> 
I mean, at 10, she's already a coffee fiend. I mean, it is decaf, but still, I know there's everybody around there just kind of smiling. And I mean, she will, she'll order all kinds of different coffees. I mean, my sister and brother-in-law have made the rule that they must be decaf, but she loves coffee. Go figure. So anyway, we got those two drinks. And the whole point of this is I meant to save the receipt because it was just so ludicrous. Those two drinks, size small, were $9.01. So I just sat there and all this, whoa, Alice, you got a great deal, basically was flushed down the, well, I guess it literally will end up being flushed down the toilet with the two Starbucks drinks. Really? Snacks are crazy. Oh, I just realized I did not get a haircut yet. My niece, lack of coordination. My nieces were playing with, a hair, with my hair and put a hair clip in it. So still struggling to get my hair cut. Um, sorry, I don't know why. I just get itchy when the tree pollen gets high. You know, I start to scratch and fidget. Um, in this video, I'm not going to really address any of the issues that I brought up in the second half of yesterday's video. The devil horns issues. Simply because... Um, I am going to keep people updated on that, you know, how, what I'm, what I do and how my cousin is doing, but I think I'll make those separate videos and I will just continue to list them with that vlog number and I can never remember what vlog number I'm on and just call it A, B, C, D, etc. because, I mean, you know, I am talking about some pretty intense things and, you know, I'm one of these people that when I'm in a down mood, I don't like to watch the news. I mean, I'll kind of watch the headlines, the Yahoo headlines on my my homepage because, you know, I don't want something serious to happen and I've completely missed it. But I just get tired of the constant, um, you know, the constant litany of, of all this tragedy and sometimes I just need to pull back. So, you know, I did put that vlog out there with a warning um, and I'm going to continue to keep people posted on that situation. But I am going to just use that vlog number, which I think was 32 or 33, 33, and, you know, part A, B, C, D, and that's how you'll know it's an update. And I just wanted to say, for everybody who did respond, you blew me away. I asked one person for help specifically, and, you know, she's so busy, she has this life, she, you know, oh, her life is as busy as my sister's. Um, children and all, and she got back to me within the same day, and anyway, all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you, I love you so much, and that is for real too. Um, you know, and other, other vloggers, you know, sent me messages, and really, I, I feel so encouraged, and I love hearing... I mean, pretty much everyone's take is similar. You know, nobody said anything like, move to Mars, it will solve your problems. I'm so touched, and I am so amazed. YouTube is one, is really, in a sense, the only forum that I can comfortably discuss things like this. I mean, naturally, I talked in my day-to-day -day life. I spoke to my sister, and I spoke to my best friend, Jermaine, my adopted son. Um, but this is the kind of thing I feel awkward discussing with friends that I, you know, basically with friends that don't have an off button. Because if these issues are disturbing to somebody, you can't shut someone off face to face without being very, very rude. And I don't ever like to put people in that position. So unless I know someone very, very well, um, I would never even bring this up. And it's just wonderful to have this forum where I can have complete and total confidence that if somebody says, oh, hey, this is not what I want to deal with right now, they can just turn it off and then watch when I start showing crocheting again and the whole world is a happy place. Um, anyway, thank you, everybody. I'm just, I'm just floored. And one of my subscribers, I, will, I won't even use her, her YouTube name, I'll just use the name that she signed her message with, uh, which is Kristen. Um, I just loved your response. It's a subscriber who um, has never, as far as I know, commented before. Um, I, if you haven't, I missed it. I'm, I'm really sorry. 
Um, she introduced herself to me and she sent a very long message and she actually went ahead and sort of verbalized the one possibility that was kind of, you know, hovering in the back of my mind that I did not want to think about. And, you know, pointing out that scenario to me has been tremendously helpful because, I mean, I do have to think about it and that does very much affect my decision. So, um, enough <laughs> of that. But thank you all. You are all so wonderful. And people who don't comment or don't watch it are wonderful too because I have so much fun here on YouTube. Oh, Bruno, I forgot to bring the, um, the box of tea for the one that I had this morning. I had the mate, not the Earl Grey mate, but the mate that you said is the favorite brand for Argentina. And it's the one that has like the, the Maltese cross on the front, uh, on, the, on the box. And I can't remember what the name of it was. But anyway, that was outstanding mate. I mean, it was in a tea bag um, as opposed to being loose. But I loved it. And I had it, like you said, with soy milk and a touch of Splenda, which is what I use instead of sugar. And I adored it. And I will show the box in my next tea review. Oh, and Andrew. Hey, Andrew. That was so funny. Um, Andrew in the pictures. Great guy and great channel. Um, recommended a book to me. It was Poison, and I cannot think of the author. Um, but if you go back to that video, the book and tea review that I did just recently, you can see his comment. Um, it was a young adult book, and I, you know, I was at my sister's at the time, and I just happened to ask my niece, you know, um, hey, have you ever heard of, do you have this book, Poison? Have you ever heard of it? She's like, oh yeah, I read everything by that author. My favorite one was blah, blah, blah. And then I went back to the computer, and sure enough, he had sent another message saying, oh, there's some other um, books by this author, and he mentioned the one that was my niece's favorite. So it's a small world out there. Everybody seems to be reading the same things and loving them. And I love getting book reviews. I absolutely love them. So, um... I was a bad Alice today. I do not physically handle stress well. And I, you know, I did yoga, and you notice I'm doing this. When something happens that just really throws me for a loop, I do all these bad things, like grip my teeth to the point where I get in so much pain I can't chew. I will get a net, my neck will get so stiff I can barely turn my head. So I just got up this morning and decided I could not face the world and just went over to my sister's and hung out over there during the day. And, uh, no, of course I have, you know, like a, a <laughs> doubly crazy day tomorrow, but I'm feeling much better and up to taking it. And um, my, nie my two oldest nieces are homeschooled. They spend um, some of the days at the home of a friend who's also uh, homeschooled on, with the same, it's a combination online and, you know, they also get textbooks. Um, but they also have a day where they can do it in their own home because I'm not sure what's going on with the friend. And that was today. So, you know, they were there in the background studying. But they were there and that was just, that made me so happy, the older two. So anyhow, everybody, I am extremely exhausted. Um, hey, um... I would love to see what Bruno has been working on. Um, I know he had a success. I have no idea because Bruni, Bruno has multiple hobbies, so I would love to see what his success was. Um, anyhow, uh, everybody have a great night, and I will be back tomorrow or, you know, within a couple of days. Anyway, bye.